Well, the Defense Innovation Unit is focused on leveraging commercial technology and bringing that into the Department of Defense. We're extremely proud of our successes in FY22. We posted a record-breaking 17 transitions, which is a 50% increase over last year, and this is transitioning technology into the hands of the men and women in uniform. We also posted 36 solicitations on our website, which is requesting solutions to DoD problems. Uh, in response to that, we received about 1,600 proposals from our commercial partners, uh, which represents about 45 proposals uh, per solicitation we posted. Uh, we also issued over 80 prototype contract awards in FY22. Well, it's exciting every day for me coming to work at DIU. I get to work with the brightest entrepreneurs across the country and the most innovative minds in the Department of Defense. But one project stands out in particular uh, for its scope uh, and what it represents going forward. And that's our work with Task Force 59. We were able to prototype some autonomous technology in a real world theater of operations. And what's especially exciting about this is we were able to transition uh, this surface autonomous vehicle made by Saildrome to the Coast Guard, which is not a DOD entity, but it represents uh, that we're able to leverage commercial technology, not only to our DOD partners, but to other entities across the executive branch that have similar mission sets as the Department of Defense. The first one is to continue to build out our regional strategy. Our intent here is to align the DOD innovation organizations and then also provide a window to the commercial sector for our DOD partners as well as a window to the DOD marketplace for our commercial partners in that region. We want to tap into the best technology across the country, not just focused on the technology hubs, but really the entrepreneurs across the country that are on the leading edge of technology development. The second thing we're going to focus on is our fast follower strategy, as called out in the National Defense Strategy. And the strategy here is to leverage uh, the commercial technology development that's taken place in a lot of the critical technology areas and make sure that we're a fast follower for those areas that the commercial sector is leading and to be an initial adopter in those areas that the department uh, must lead. And then finally, I've uh, charged the team to continue to drive impact by increasing our transition rate. We're right at about 50% this year and we're pushing for 60 to 65% transition rate next year.